Minister, when I say that I am concerned about the fact that we have students sharing beds with other students in a living capacity, when we have students who cannot lock their door at night, I cannot overemphasise how concerning that is. Minister, I really fundamentally am deeply concerned that this is the kind of situation that will end up as an RTE primetime event investigates in years to come. And I tell you, nobody can say that they didn't know of the the dangers and the concerns that they um, faced. Other women have told me that they were required to undertake child minding duties if they wanted to keep their rooms. And I've heard plenty of stories of students who were turfed out overnight with no time to try and source alternative accommodation. And Minister, the new academic year is just around a corner. So there is a rush. I don't believe in just simply shouting from the sidelines. I believe in providing solutions where solutions are needed. And I have to say, Minister, I really welcome the fact that this bill isn't being opposed. However, the Minister said that this type of legislation should not be rushed. Well, I tell you who needs this legislation to be rushed. It's the student I spoke to who lived in a shed where they paid €700 Euro a month. The shed had been converted into two bedrooms with a makeshift kitchen and a shower installed. It had mould and was not suitable for human living. Another occupant who had moved out before this student had come in uh, was paying €600 Euro a month, but the homeowner then increased the rent by €100. Euro. Now, that income accrues to the homeowner tax-free. Another student told her story on Monday on RTE about how she lives in an attic where, Minister, she shares a bed with another person. Again, with no rights, but tax-free income for the homeowner. And to say that there isn't a rush simply is nonsense. There's a rush in providing vulture fund student accommodation, where we have a situation now where vulture funds own more student accommodation in Dublin than the Dublin universities themselves. Look, Minister, I welcome the fact that you're here, Minister, and I really welcome the fact um, that you are not opposing this, but the previous Minister did annoy me with some of his comments, so thank you.